In-depth sports coverage from The Athletic is now just £1 a month with an introductionary offer. See the link in the description to sign up. The opening fixture of a season isn't the time for conclusions, but Everton and their trio of new midfielders, Alain, Abdoulaye Decore and James Rodriguez, put on a performance that bodes well for this Premier League campaign. Carlo Ancelotti, whose reputation as a flexible tactician and superb man-manager is well-deserved, made a statement of intent by fielding all his new signings, providing significant clues as to what his team may look like and mature into as the season progresses. Midfield sets the tone and tempo for a side. If the build-up play is incoherent, lacks direction or movement, or fails in terms of passing quality, sides cannot transition the ball from defence to attack. Players need to know where to be to receive and pass the ball, where they can find runners, and where they need to be in case attacks break down. And Everton covered all of those bases in a performance that was a significant improvement on their shape and structure last season. Against Spurs, their movement between the lines was excellent. With Alain anchoring, Andre Gomez regularly dropped off and Decore regularly pushed up. And these movements helped Everton's build up in two distinct ways. Gomez finding deeper positions meant Everton had a more progressive passer of the ball who could look to open up the left flank to Richarlison or Lucas Digne's runs or push the ball forwards to Dominic Calvert-Lewin or Hamas Rodriguez. This also meant that with the centre-backs and Alain also in this rough area of the pitch, Everton could play the ball out of their own zone fairly easily. Ducore pushed up the pitch quite often, which allowed for Hammers to have a passing option in field or even ahead. These runs also served to protect the right-hand side of the pitch should Everton lose the ball. For all Hammers' willingness to defend, without Decore's mobility, Everton could have been exploited down that side, especially as Hammers regularly drifted to find space in field. And both these instances of horizontal movement not only helped Everton in transition and attack, but they also showed a team who already understood one another's positions and how the system was flexible. It's one of the reasons why it was hard to discern Everton's actual formation, which based on average positions was a 4-3-3. But the shape changed distinctly and regularly, largely as a result of Gomez's movement. And even in the high and mid block, Everton would arrange themselves and press in different ways, sometimes in a 4-2-3-1, sometimes in a 4-4-2, and sometimes in a 4-1-4-1. Teams can be flexible when they understand one another's roles and movements. Everton are already showing that understanding, even with the integration of three new first-team players. Now, Hammers was brought to Everton to elevate the side with his touch and passing, and the early signs are very encouraging. Just as it's helpful to have a left-footed centre-back on the left-hand side of the defence to open passing lanes that curve away from the centre of the pitch, having a left-footed player on the right side further up the pitch can allow for switches in play that open up the far side from the ball. Everton exploited this several times, with left-forward Richarlison or left-back Lucas Digne able to find space because of Hammers' ability to drill passes from right to left. Similarly, Andre Gomez dropping away from the number 10 space into a deeper, slightly left-sided position was able to switch the play out to the right side where James or Decore were able to find space. When teams stack up and attack one flank, especially when they're able to create numerical or qualitative superiority, they have more or better players in one area, that naturally pulls the opposition across to that side to defend against the advantage. What Everton were able to do, in part because of Hamas' left foot and quality of passing, was bait and switch. Lure spurs to Everton's right flank and then move the ball rapidly to the far open side. It's a trick employed by a lot of top teams, but the ease with which Everton managed it, having integrated new players in key positions, was impressive. And there were also signs of what Everton will be able to do given time. Hammers' drifting movements in field, which regularly allowed him to find space, will bring the mobile and dynamic Calvert-Lewin plenty of opportunities. Richarlison may also come in field increasingly. Dinya is one of the best overlapping left-backs in the league, and Calvert-Lewin functions best when playing closer to another attacker. With Ducore's energy and positional and defensive intelligence, and the solidity of Alain screening the back four, Everton's ability to create superiorities through this positional fluidity could be devastating. And that, more than anything, is what was so promising about their first performance of the season. The ease with which players moved and covered one another, or found space to receive and pass, suggests a pattern that Everton can build on going forwards. 
With intelligent attacking footballers like Hammers and Richarlison and the deep passing of Gomez, Ancelotti's side have the talent. And against Spurs, they also showed the application and the understanding too. The Athletic is in-depth sports coverage that helps fans see the game from every angle. And Tifo is delighted to be able to offer full access to The Athletic now for just £1 per month. See the link in the description for details of this introductory offer. For football fans, that's access to the writing of journalists dedicated to your team. Plus, David Ornstein, Phil Hay, Daniel Taylor and many more. Not to mention, over 400 full-time writers offering inside access and independent analysis of every team that you follow across every league that you care about. Get local expertise and unmatched league-wide perspective. The Athletics writers are in the bubble, on the field and behind the scenes as it all happens. Catch up, go deep, and join the conversation on the most important happenings in sports.